so God's omnipresence is everywhere. At all times, permeates everything. But this is different than his tangible presence. In the book of Genesis, God's omnipresence was in the Garden of Eden. But Adam heard the sound of God walking towards him. His tangible presence has a sound. God's tangible presence came to Jacob on the other side of the river Jabok and wrestled with him. His tangible presence visited Moses at the burning bush. His tangible presence overshadowed Mary. When she conceived, his tangible presence came on Mount Sinai. When the law was given to Moses, his tangible presence came at the tent of meeting in the wilderness. Moses would go and meet with God face to face and the whole nation of Israel would stand at their tents and look at Moses in the tangible presence of God. His tangible presence covered Israel with a cloud by day and with a fire by night. His tangible presence was with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fire. He was a third man. His tangible presence visited Jacob at Bethel when he perceived that God had been in this place. His tangible presence was in the shout of the Gideon army that brought confusion to the enemy. His tangible presence was wisdom in acts in the upper room. His tangible presence was at the stirred waters at Bethsaida where healing took place. His tangible presence was with John on Patmos. His tangible presence was revealed to Isaiah when he says, woe is me for I am undone for I am a man of unclean lips. His tangible presence judge Nahab and Abihu. Will we contend for his tangible presence? Will we pursue his tangible presence? Will we fight against everything that fights against his tangible presence?